Hi people, what's up? Numisher again, and today I'm going to be teaching how to bass boost any um, sound file with GarageBand. Well, it's mainly for songs, but okay. So you click and drag your song in, like I did here. This song is called Bugatti, and it has a significant amount of bass, but it's not too high. So here's the part with the bass in it, and let's see if, yeah, see if you can hear it. Oops. Right here is supposed to be the bass, so we're gonna boost it a lot so you can hear it more easily. Okay, now we're gonna boost it. So you wanna go, you wanna click this. And make sure it's under real instruments and make sure you press edit. Then you want to go to visual EQ, which is equalizer, and then you want to just, it's right here. You boost the bass. You click and drag up. You can also take it out like this, but boost the bass is here. So, anyways, we got, I'll press on when I feel like it. You should be hearing a lot of bass now if you have a bass speaker. Since I'm doing this through my laptop, I can't hear it, but if you have a bass connected to your computer, you can probably hear it. Also, if you click here, you can make the bass go even higher, as you can see. Just make sure you bring that back to where it belongs. Yeah, so you have the bass in there. So that's basically how to do it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to bass boost using GarageBand, and rate, comment, subscribe. And the reason why I'm putting this video on is because when I try to bass boost songs and put them on the internet, it's always like copyright notice. So I want to show you how to do it by yourself so then you don't need to go to YouTube. And so yeah, have a nice day. See ya.